Bonjour, welcome back to the channel. I'm Emily Talpin. I'm an OM system ambassador and I post videos every Sundays. So um, if you are new to the channel, thank you for joining us and I hope you will enjoy because today I am reviewing my favorite lens, the M Zuiko 60mm macro and I'm gonna tell you why it is my favorite macro lens. So let's get started. So what's your favorite lens? I feel like that's a question that I've been asked a lot. That's a question that I'm asking other people. That's a question that everybody is asking everybody. What is your favorite lens? As if I can pick my favorite lens. I mean, maybe if you tell me what is your favorite macro lens and what is your favorite wildlife lens, then okay, maybe, you know, give me two categories. I can pick one for macro, one for wildlife. And then how about landscape? How about uh, night photography? So maybe if you ask me a category, then maybe I'll pick my favorite lens. And if you're asking me my favorite macro lens, then definitely that would be the 60 millimeter macro. And I'm going to tell you my five favorite thing about this macro lens. So my favorite thing, number one, is the one-to-one -one ratio. And because we're talking about macro four third, it's actually a one-to-two -two ratio if we want the equivalent in full frame. And what it means is that if I put a bug on my sensor, whatever fits on that sensor is what I will be able to have on my frame. Um, and so my sensor is smaller than a full frame. So if you put a bug on a full frame, it might completely fit. But if you put the same bug in my sensor, in a micro four third, then maybe you won't have the whole bug, but you get much more detail, you get much closer. So that's a plus for me as a macro photographer. And a lot of people use uh, Renox um, that they add on to their lens or they use extension tube, but I'm really, really happy with the one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, for me, that's quite enough. Uh, when I do uh, water drop refraction, then I want to get maybe a little closer. So maybe that would not be my lens of choice. But I've done, you know, refraction with this lens and it still works. You just have maybe to crop a little bit in certain situation. So I'm going to show you that's a one to one ratio. That's actually, uh, that was something that I uh, took on one of my morning walk. Morning are the best to go out and get insects because they're still very cold. It's getting colder in New Hampshire. I actually have my jacket now and a uh, little uh, neck warmer uh, because uh, it's coming, winter is coming, or at least fall. My favorite thing number two is actually the working distance of this lens. Uh, it is 19 centimeter, so you're not stuck like a few inches close to your subject. You actually have a little bit of working distance, which is great for insects because they're very skittish. If you just put something next to them, they'll fly away or they will, you know, move around. So having that working distance is very important. And then if you're adding a diffuser on top of your flash close to your lens, uh, yes, that really will scare any insect. So that's why that working distance is a must when you're doing insects. So my favorite thing number three is that it's a f2.8. It's a bright lens and uh, it makes it a multi-facet lens because it's also an amazing portrait lens. I've actually used it. I have a couple of friends who ask me to do their portrait and that's the lens that I use to do their portrait uh, when I don't get distracted by bugs. And uh, it gives you a just beautiful, beautiful blurry background. Uh, so I like that I can use this lens for other things, not just macro, portrait. And you know what? That probably would do very well for a uh, live comp, uh, night photography. So uh, maybe I will try it. Uh, maybe that will be my next project using the 60 millimeter macro for live comp. My favorite thing number four is that it is a Zuiko lens, meaning uh, it goes with my camera and it will uh, connect with my camera and be able to do things that my camera 
will tell it to do, like focus tacking. I mean, it's really flawless. Uh, the dialogue between the camera and the lens, uh, the focus is very, very fast. The uh, focus tacking works extremely well. The bracketing works extremely well. And as a macro photographer, being able to use focus bracketing or to focus tack in camera is so important because sometimes um, you know with macro photography you have a very shallow depth of field so a little teeny tiny part of your subject will be in focus and sometimes I need more and if my subject is a cooperative subject then I'll be able to focus tack and even focus tack in camera which is really amazing my camera is doing all the work because it's communicating with my lens very well and my favorite thing number five is that this lens is it's insanely sharp so so sharp if you use it well uh, i am just really happy with it never have a problem it's sharp uh, on you know corner to corner and i i mean i could tell you all about it but i think the best way to show you how sharp it is is just to show you a couple of examples so enjoy those are photos that i took this summer with this lens the om1 the uh, fl 700 uh, flash and also my ak diffuser So yes, I can really say that the Enzuico 60mm macro is my favorite lens yet. Yes, I know, I just said yet. Because maybe some of you are aware that OM System just made the announcement that they are releasing a new macro lens. And I am pretty excited about it. It's a 90mm f3.5 macro so super bright lens and uh, it is a pro lens so it's going to be weather sealed and I cannot wait to try it because it's a 2.1 magnification for full frame remember you just double it so I'm going to be able to get some really amazing details and I can't wait to try it for my uh, refraction photography so yes um, Right now, this is my favorite lens, but I have a feeling I might have a new favorite macro lens pretty soon. It's supposed to come out in 2023, and I'll be looking for the announcement. Um, so, I hope this video was informative, and I thought for this week's discussion, we could uh, share our favorite macro lens. Uh, is it the 16mm macro, or are you more a fan of the 30 millimeter macro just put it in the comments below and thank you again so much for watching and all your supports every week i really appreciate it if you are not a subscriber it's not too late click on the subscribe button hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out and until next week happy shooting au revoir